I'm hoping with the new commissioner and the new mayor, we get some change because where Molly died, Ray Kelly said, quote unquote, we gonna, oh, we gonna um, make changes. Because when an unarmed kid get killed, we have to really look into that. And I don't know any changes that made because mother is still here and it's happening all over again. Statistics yeah, have shown yeah. that stop and frisks are lower now. Is that, do you think a win? Or do you think is that a is it lower or are they just not recording? Yeah. I don't know. Well, the new commissioner is claiming that he stopped stop and frisks. They say anything, but police just find a different way of doing it. Not, not because you don't see them throwing people against the wall. They have, they find different ways of doing it. But that's definitely what the city. Mrs. Graham, what, when did you, um, you filed, uh, you filed a complaint with the Department of Justice. Can you tell me, um, how long ago that was and where you stand? That was last year, August. Yeah, so this year we'll make it one year. Civil suit? No, for the um, Department of Justice. And we, you know, hoping for them to take this case and move forward with it, what, with a full investigation. What have you heard from them? Nothing. Nobody. The last time when we, they, the last time we heard anything is when they said they're gonna um, look into the case, and we haven't heard anything since then. And it's going on a year in August. This will be your second Mother's Day. Yes. Marley? Unfortunately, yes, and it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. This is an incident that should have never happened, but it did, and we hope that changes come. What exactly would you like to come from the NYPD? We want changes. We want law changes. We want legislation passed because, you know, every day you wake up and you send your child. I still have another six year old. Um, my son that was six at the time when it happened. He's nine. That's my biggest fear is him. That he walk on the street one day and they try to stop him and he don't want to stop. Well, you know, kill him too. That's my biggest fear. This is why I'm out here fighting so hard to make sure it doesn't happen again to somebody's child or my child again because I do have a six year, um, eight year old son. He's eight. He's eight. No, he's eight. He's going to be nine in August. Okay, so you're talking about stop and frisk. Yes. They, I, I just feel they say stop and frisk is finished, but I really don't think it is. They just find other way of doing it. Well, Commissioner yeah. Bratton says he is looking for you know, compromise. I hope he do. I hope he does because it's two mothers, too much mothers out here crying. And we, we have to, like Ms. Ambaya said, stop putting band-aids and go to the problem. We can't have this happen all the time. How will you remember when Marley had Mother's Day? That's something going to be hard because Mother's Day is the ninth. I mean the 11th and my birthday is the 13th. So we always in the house together and they would buy cake, you know, my kids, they would bring cake and they would sing happy birthday. Unfortunately, one be missing. He won't be there. And it, I don't think it would be a Mother's Day without him. But I just gotta try my best because I have two more kids I have to keep living for. Including eight year old and yes, another twenty four year old um Leona Virgo, daughter. Daughter. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Constance. Constance Malcolm. Malcolm. Right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Oh, I just we want this store to stop. We need it to stop because it's too much mothers crying, too much mother looking for answers, and we're not getting any answer. And the place that we look to get answer from, they seem to just covering up stuff. We never get an answer, and it seems like they just push us away. We are people, and some of the elected officials, we elect these people. And then they get in office, and then they change. So we elect you to bring changes to our community and the way how society view our black and brown people. And it seems like it, it just keep happening. Like I said, it did just cover it up with a bandaid and keep on moving. They treat dogs better than how they treat our people. And it shouldn't be. What goes for one should go for all. Whether you're a police officer. Are not. You commit a crime, you should be charged at such crime. And oftentimes, when they commit a crime, we never get the justice of them going to jail for the crime that they committed. We have to, you know, look to the um, Department of Justice for them to get them on civil rights violation. And I think it's unfair because if I go out and kill somebody, they're going to charge me with murder. Why a cop never get charged for murder? I don't know in this city. I don't know if any cop was on duty and get charged for murder when they commit a murder. And those are the things we have to keep looking into and make sure changes come about. So, okay. Constance Malcolm, thank you.
Well, I have my other two kids. Okay. So, you know, like I said, my birthday is at 13 also. And it's usually, <laughs> how are you? It's usually both of us, you know, all three of us, including my mom. Uh -huh. And we just have a cake and, you know, sit around and talk about, you know, days when we was in Jamaica. Uh -huh. My kids was born here, so uh -huh. we have always tell them about what happened during when we was younger. So those are the things we, you know, sit and reminisce on. And unfortunately, Mother's Day, one of the child be missing from that equation, you know? And it's sad, but I'm here today with other mothers to show, you know, support. They show support to me and moving forward. And this become my new family, you know? This is a boat that nobody wanted to be in, but we end it and we just have to make the use of it and come together and make sure changes come about. Thank you. Thank you. Have you had any contact with the NYPD officers responsible? No. What would you say to them if you were able to? I, you know, I, I don't know what I could say right now because it's so painful because how my son was murdered. I don't say killed because I felt it was murdered. You don't just go in somebody's house and accidentally kill somebody. So to me, it's murder. And the way that happened is very, it's hurtful. And even though I wouldn't wish anything bad for him, but he goes home and Mother's Day, he will go home and tell his mother, Happy Mother's Day. I won't have my son to tell me Happy Mother's Day or Happy Birthday because he took that from me. He took that opportunity away from me. And have you developed a community with the other mothers? Yes, I do. I, I talk to them a lot. They call me, you know, and we speak, you know. Like I said, this, this is my newfound family. We all family now. And that's all we could do because we, this is a, um, a fight we didn't ask for, but we in it together. And I stand by them and they stand by me 